We will now perform the iota form test using acetone as our test compound. And for reference, we will be using a negative control that will contain all of the reagents except for the acetone. The iota form test allows us to determine the presence of a methyl ketone or a compound that is easily oxidized to a methyl ketone. Other ketones will also decolorize the iodine solution, but they will not give a precipitate of iota form. We will begin by adding a small amount of acetone to a test tube and then dissolving the acetone in two milliliters of 1,2-dimethoxyethane. We will then add two milliliters of 10% sodium hydroxide solution and place the test tubes in a 60 to 70 degrees Celsius hot water bath. We will next add four milliliters of Lugol's iodine solution in one milliliter portions to the test tubes, making sure to cork and shake the tubes after each addition of iodine. We will then heat the mixture in the hot water bath for five minutes with occasional shaking. It is likely that the dark color of the iodine reagent will be discharged. After five minutes, we will next fill the test tubes with deionized water to within two centimeters of the top. We'll then cork the test tubes, shake them vigorously, and allow the tubes to stand for 15 minutes at room temperature. After 15 minutes, this is what our test tube with the acetone looks like and what our negative control looks like. The appearance of a pale yellow precipitate of iota form that will slowly settle to the bottom of the test tube indicates a positive test. Okay, students, you should now be familiar with how to perform the Tollens test and the iota form test. This concludes this portion of the identification of unknowns experiments. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.